according to what he says here, then the older a person grows, the smaller the ego, the desire becomes in an ordinary person. Yes? And actually what I see around me is that the older you become, the greater your ego is. It grows and grows. No, 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 that's something else. The people that are sitting here, they have a different life plan. We're talking about something else here. Take a horse. You see that if it's a young horse, it runs around and plays when it's small. Then it becomes more settled until after seven or eight or so many years, it grows old and eventually it dies. So in the second half of its life, it thinks, should I move? Shouldn't I? How many efforts will it cost me? Can I do it or not? The forces working within the desires. Like he says, it comes from despair. It doesn't come as a result of your body not being able to give you the strength. It only seems to us that way, it's not exactly so. There is uh, the physiological issue, but it's something completely different. Our problem is that we become despaired of life, and thus we die. A person could really live to be 120. In short, much longer than he lives now. The thing is, what for? Why? What do I have as a result? And that's why they die.